Hello, I'm Michelle Helte, the Nourishment Consultant, and I'm joined today by my gorgeous little puppy dog, Pierre. One of the most common questions I get is, how do I take care of my dog naturally? What do I feed him? Or her? And I guess it's kind of subjective. Definitely the most important thing is, if you're in a position to, get them off the canned food and get them off the commercial kibble, the dry dog food. They are probably the worst things you can give your dogs. They're absolutely devoid of nutrients. They have um, artificial chemicals and preservatives and flavorings and all kinds of additives that you, if you saw how it was made, you would never give it to your dog. So I feed Pierre a lot of bones and raw meat. Um, he gets human grade food, he gets human grade minces and um, the gravy beef, the chuck steak fillet, and uh, he'll get chicken necks and all kinds of things like that. When we had our bigger dog, and all our dogs previously, they've had things like the lamb or the veal shanks, they've had um, meat bones, the soup bones, they've had brisket bones, uh, as much variety as you can possibly give them. Keeping in mind that animal meats like pork are actually very fatty and not so good for dogs to eat at all. And it can cause a lot of uh, liver and gallbladder problems, pancreas problems, and it can cause certainly diarrhea. And it can make them feel really sick, so stay away from pork full stop. Um, when we do juicing, as us humans, the juicer, because we use a cold, uh, slow press juicer, a masticating juicer, and it's very slow and it literally just crushes the fibres of the fruits and veggies. And when the fibres come out, we put a little handful of that into the dog's food. So they get some fruit and veggies that way as well. Remembering that dogs are not allowed to have things like macadamias, which cause macadamia nuts, which cause uh, anemias. Um, go easy on the garlic and onion for them. It can cause a lot of gastric problems. And uh, even though it's, the garlic is good for fleas, you still want to go easy on them, especially when you're first introducing it into their diet, and always try to give it them, to them cooked. It's a lot easier for them to digest. Um, you little cutie. We've got um, avocados. Stay right away from avocados. Grapes, sultanas, raisins. Do not ever give those to your dogs. It causes all kinds of horrific liver conditions, oh sorry, kidney conditions, and the dogs end up being really sick, and they will die from it. Chocolate, please. Please, never give your dogs chocolate. Again, it puts so much stress on the liver and the dogs will die if they consume enough of it. And it's a horrible, agonizing, painful death. If you want to give them a chocolatey treat, use carob. It's much safer, much healthier for them. And you're comfy there, aren't you? Um, be careful of what you've got in your garden too because some of the plants are quite um, poisonous. Things like your oleander. Oh, he's loving that, isn't he? Oh, that's my ticklish spot you got that, mummy. <laughs> Um, yeah, the oleanders and those kinds of plants, very, very poisonous, very, very toxic. So you want to be careful what kinds of plants that you also have in your garden. If you can plant herbs, it's fantastic. I had a German Shepherd once. She was quite ill and they wanted to put her onto antibiotics. She just had, um, just had, she had a canine cold and flu kind of thing. And I had plenty of garlic and chilli planted. Well, Jessica decided that I'm going to make myself better, mummy. And she ate six bushes of fully flowering chilies and, and ate, I don't know, it was two or three bulbs of garlic and ate them all. And the next day she was fine. So dogs are really intuitive. They know when they, they need to self-heal. And, and, and Pierre, he will self-fast regularly, uh, probably twice a week. He'll just not eat for a whole day. He just chooses not to eat. Very, very smart little boy. He knows what he needs. Dogs eat grasses. That's another thing I get. Why does my dog eat grass? They eat grass for a number of different reasons. Um, they might need to have assistance with digestion or because they're feeling sick and they're or they've got constipation and it helps them to pass bowel motions or it might help them to spew up something that's not feeling very good inside their stomach. So if you see them eating grass, let them eat it. It's actually good for them. And apart from that, your bones are a really good option for them because it helps them to clean their teeth. That's the way that they brush their teeth. And uh, you know, you can always add in some nutrients like uh, the nutritional yeast, depending on the size of the dog. Start with a quarter teaspoon up to a full teaspoon. Always build up to it. Don't just bam, straighten their food because it can cause uh, a lot of urinary distress. They can do lots of wee-wees and can be a bit sickening for them if their liver's not healthy. Rosehip granules, seaweed meals, um, your wakami, dulse, any of those kinds of seaweeds, fantastic for the dogs, just like it is for us. Um, add in a little pinch of pink Himalayan salt, 
um, all kinds of nutrients that you would give a kefir. You can give them kefir, you can give them coconut kefir, you can give them coconut oil, hemp seed oil, hemp seeds, all those things. Highly nutritious for your dog. So whatever you literally would give yourself, you can nearly give your dog, with an exception, a few exceptions. I think Pierre's had enough now, he'd like to go down. So cheerio from the both of us, we'll speak to you soon. Bye!